It's a concept. It is not just another chair. For the system working in the art and science arena, we need to provide the value to the society. Since 2004, I'm working on rapid prototyping and I was the lucky one to design the first chair ever made with this technology. The idea to see this technology as a, a tool to reinvent shapes, uh, to reinvent design, uh, was so exciting. On and on, we were keeping like bouncing on each other to come up with the TAMU that was presenting at Design in the Edge of Experience in 2019. So the first iteration of the project was called TAMU. It's a Japanese word, which means the art of folding things. But we wanted to go further. That reveal was so important. It was at the time we started to have this discussion around artificial intelligence. What we call at the system generative design. The second version of TAMU was needed because it is a part of my philosophy. When I design something, it has to work. We know that we can uh, uh, now do a very complex object. You can see it in your head, but it's impossible to draw. Like designing a forest. You can't design every leaf of all the trees. Impossible. And when you know uh, what the system tools enable with the 3D language, with this ability to actually do very quick iteration in 3D printing, uh, imagining shapes that never been designed because impossible to draw those shapes. Using the algorithm coming from biomimicry, from nature, leveraging bones density algorithm, what we call generative design, topologic optimization, lattice, all of those solutions at the core of the proposition of TAMU. You can have a, something cooked in this machine that can be unfolded in one piece. After, I wanted to work on lightness, working like a bone. So a bone is uh, light, but very solid. I wanted to introduce science. That's why we have decided to work together on this quest to use as less material as possible and to do the best design as possible together. In nature, you have common sense, and we have tried to apply this very simple philosophy uh, to the chair. The chair in itself was a, a complex project because there is a lot of moving parts. I've been involved uh, since the beginning of the project, first with TAMU. It was the beginning of a new discussion, how to mix design, research, science, mathematics, in one product. We had a lot of challenges. The first one was just to design a folding chair and the second one was to design a folding chair that can fit in the 3D printer. And the third one was to do the optimization process of the chair. The software from Dassault Systems Solutions create the design. It allows us to understand where were the weaknesses so we could solve them before printing the chair. And it's that has defined the design. So we had to travailler sur une chaise pliante qui s'adapte parfaitement au millimètre près à ce volume-là. Dans un second temps, euh, on a recherché à optimiser euh, tous les volumes de la chaise afin de gagner le plus de poids et donc d'utiliser le moins de matière possible. Et c'est à partir de, de, de toutes ces étapes qu'on a eu besoin des outils d'Assault de, System. Les solutions de Katia nous ont accompagnés tout au long du projet. Katia, c'est le modeleur principal de cette chaise. We were switching with simulation and modelization. Il y a eu une grande étape d'optimisation topologique. Donc là, le logiciel va en fait enlever le plus de matière possible, alléger au maximum les pièces, tout en garantissant un minimum de résistance structurelle. ModSim helped us go in the right direction. With ModSim, we use all the tools to perfect our ideas. So it's a mix of modelization, simulation and real life. Thanks to ModSim, we also succeed to achieve a chair which is just three kilos light. It helps us to, to be very realistic. Les outils de Katia tout au long de ce projet nous ont aussi permis de vérifier l'empreinte euh, environnementale de la chaise grâce à l'outil Eco Designer euh, afin de vérifier euh, exactement le, la quantité de matière qu'on utilisait, le bilan carbone lié aussi au transport, euh, à la machine de print, etc. C'est quand même un travail de collaboration de Patrigeon et d'Assault System. Donc le monde est un peu de l'engineering et le monde du design qui ont dû se rencontrer et il aura fallu un espace de rencontre et la plateforme a joué ce rôle. To improve the world we live in, we're going to have to change the way we produce, 
the way we design and the way we use materials. As a designer, usually, when I put the pencil on the paper, I know the result of the aesthetic here. It's almost like asking nature, please, can you grow a chair with your philosophy of using as less material as possible? And the result is just in front of me. The search of lightness is one thing. The 3D print technology today cannot be made yet into a material that will be truly recyclable, and that will be aluminium. Why don't we continue to see this chair improving again on the trinity of concept, process, and material? We're not done. Designers are never done. It's the maximum of uh, human research in mathematics, in material, in the uh, digital. Here in this simple chair, you have the best of us. It was to see what could be the synergy between uh, creative minds, not just from the studio, but from all the system, but led with that aim come from a design challenge, a concept of design that only can be led by a few minds. It's a vision. And the design studio works really at the heart of uh, the best of the solutions the system provides. We use the platform. It enables us to invite artists, designers, architects to work uh, in collaboration uh, with uh, all of the designers. All of this project, it's really about the collaboration, like we do a collaboration with nature. Now you can use the chair. Before, it was the ID. Now you can sit on it. Uh, you can fold it, you can uh, send it, ship it, you can decide to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. And it's, I think, the first time in history that a, you know, an object uh, like this is made. The chair is true to itself. It's the embodiment of an incredible amount of work. It basically challenges with its aesthetics, different, but for good reason.